NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards. The NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, NPG, informs workers, employers, and occupational health professionals about workplace chemicals and their hazards. The NPG gives general industrial hygiene information for hundreds of chemical and classes. Let's have a quick overview of just how invaluable the NIOSH Pocket Guide is. The chemicals or substances contained in this revision include all substances for which the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health NIOSH, has recommended exposure limits REL's, and those with permissible exposure limits PEL's, as found in the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA General Industry Air Contaminant Standard 29 CFR 1910.1000. With the correct information, you can find useful data on the permissible levels of certain working environments. There are lots of chemicals to choose from, so let's focus solely on ammonia with CIS number 7664-41-7. The following example will give you a brief overview of how to use the NIOSH Pocket Guide. However, we encourage you to do research on your own. Go to www.cdc.gov slash NIOSH slash NPG slash default dot HTML. You will see a menu on the left side. Please click on the option Chemical Names, Synonyms and Trade Names. There you will be able to see all the chemicals listed. Search for ammonia, and once here you can see the name, the synonyms, the CAS number, the immediate danger to life and health, or IDLH, value, the exposure limits, both the NIOSH recommended exposure limit, REL, and OSHA permissible exposure limit, PEL. At the bottom of the page, you'll also see the respiratory recommendations. There are three main categories we need to have an in-depth look at, the NIOSH REL, OSHA PEL, and respirator recommendations. Ammonia has an NIOSH REL of TWA 25 parts per million. TWA indicates a time-weighted average conversion for up to a 10-hour workday during a 40-hour week. Ammonia also has a short-term exposure limit, or STEL, of 35 ppm. STEL indicates a 15-minute TWA exposure and that should not be exceeded at any time during the workday. In case you see a letter C preceding the value, this indicates the ceiling value should never be exceeded at any time. Ammonia has an OSHA PEL of TWA 50 ppm and an STEL of 35 ppm. Since OSHA is the law, you must never exceed the TWA 50 ppm at any time. Ammonia has four sections of respiratory protection, up to 250 ppm, up to 300 ppm, emergency or plan entry into unknown concentrations or IDLH conditions, and escape. Each respirator recommendation will have the assigned protection factor, or APF, followed by the recommendation. Based on the concentration you are exposed to, you need to select the appropriate respiratory protection Please be aware that this information will vary from chemical to chemical. Also, please notice the symbols that may appear next to your search chemical as they also offer further information from NIOSH. Substance reported to cause eye irritation or damage may require eye protection. Substance causes eye irritation or damage, eye protection needed. Only non-oxidizable sorbents allowed, not charcoal end-of-service life indicator, ESLI, required. Working with chemicals is serious and dangerous work. This video is merely an instruction showing you how to properly utilize the NIOSH pocket guide and before applying anything from the information provided, please work in conjunction with your employer to follow all necessary safety protocols and to follow OSHA standard 1910.134D13I. The employer shall identify and evaluate the respiratory hazards in the workplace. This evaluation shall include a reasonable estimate of employee exposure to respiratory hazards and an identification of the contaminant's chemical state and physical form. Where the employer cannot identify or reasonably estimate the employee exposure, the employer shall consider the atmosphere to be IDLH. 
The information regarding federal safety standards is ever-changing and must be adhered to. Any other questions, please contact us at Honeywell Tech Support or visit the Must Read section of the NILSH Pocket Guide at the link here www.cdc.gov slash n-i-o-s-h slash n-p-g slash p-g-i-n-t-r-o-d dot h-t-m-l must read.